cool. So you have the educator. May I? I want to show you a couple simple. That's okay. So this guy has a clamp that holds it on the top of the grip and another thing that lets it go vertically up and down. So I'm going to put it on the top of the club. I'll explain how in just a sec. So it's flush on the top of the grip. And then I just kind of hold this triangular bolt and I just use the club to lever it, and lever it nice and tight. I'm going to take the arm and I'll put it down in a, its most low position. And then you guys, I'll give you the, if there's a video protocol, there's tons of drills you can do with this. But the primary ones I want to show you are two simple ones, okay? What I want to show you is this behavior, how a golf club hands hinge vertically up and down. You with me? So there's a vertical up and down. And then as my body rotates, I, it's, I'm sort of in the same position here. And then the club is vertically starting to go up because it got heavy at the bottom and it has momentum working its way upward. Can we agree on that? Yes. Like once it gets heavy here, it wants to like get a child in a swing, it wants to keep going. So there's the same sort of momentum upward. Now, if I put my right hand on there, what do you see? You can see me waving. I could put a glove on for you. And you could see me waving my glove hand at that camera if you were the camera, Judy. You with me? What a lot of chicken wingers do is they look like this. They never have this body rotating this club, keeping this guy vertical. So the two releases, the two release styles you're going to learn here, pretty simple, okay, is that this is vertical. It's up and down, okay? And it's positioned a little towards one o'clock on your grip, 12 is the top, one's a little to the right, just to allow room for your nice hand to get on there. Now notice how this gizmo during my swing stays kind of vertical, vertical, and vertical. Can we agree that it didn't tilt one way or the other? Okay, so now when you watch this, here's this vertical gizmo, here's flary feet as I have a smart ball in there and I'm hitting this little vertical shot. There's vertical, Vertical and vertical into a finish. A little bit on the skinny side, say la vie, I missed. Okay, if I do it this direction, it's vertical, tap, tap, waggle, waggle. And having it at one o'clock lets you have a little room to waggle. Okay, so it's vertical, there's some hinge. Notice how the thing disappears a little bit behind my forearm. It expands while it's vertical and my pivot keeps it vertical and maybe it, you know, it disappears behind my forearm again. So as I hit this little shot, leverage, expansion, leverage. Okay, so there's, this isn't twisting one way or the other. It's just going this way up and down as my body goes right and left. Okay, big deal. So this would be the, like the primary release I would want you guys to learn. So let's start with that one. Here's your club. What do you need? My glove. I need my glove again. You need your. You don't need your glove. You yeah, you don't really need your glove though for this. Oh, no, you're not going to hit it very hard. It's okay. All right. Tell me how that yeah. Goes on. So we'll put this on. It just kind of goes on the top, and see the grooves are at 12 o'clock, straight up and down. This guy we're just going to position down to its basic place. All the way down. We'll just leave it there. You'll probably use it like this most of the time when you use it. Okay, and then we'll put it on as tight as we can so it doesn't slip around. Okay. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Okay, so there you go. Now this is a vertical up and down, right? Okay. So notice in a backswing it goes up, it goes down, in a through swing maybe it goes up again. Did my arms bend? Did I do something funky? No. Okay, did you, what were you saying about one o'clock? This looks like 12 o'clock. Yeah, so 12 o'clock is his grooves. This is to the right, 1 o'clock. It's just going down the... Yeah, 12 o'clock is the club vertical. Yeah. Now when you grip this, see how you're... So go ahead and put your pinky finger, butt it right up against it. So the meaty part of your hand... Turn and face me for a sec. So the meaty part of your hand, because this is your big deal, is getting that meaty part of your hand on top of the grip. And I wouldn't wear a glove while you do this, so you feel this better. Then put all these fingers on, that's fine. And that looks lovely. So I'll have you go back to your station over here. Come on over. Okay, and now you guys, narrow flary stance, okay, put a club head behind a ball, good, and I'm going to position you in a certain way in a second, okay, 
So put a club head behind the ball. Cool, and then I need you to hold this position for me just for a second. I'm gonna carry you, no, no, hold, hold on to the club and let me, let me move your body while I move the club, okay? So I'm gonna move your body. Good, knees together, come on girl, you can do it. <laughs> now find your balance and you stay there for a second. Okay, ready? Find your balance so you can stay there for a second. Find your balance, so turn that, there you go. Find your balance. Just tuck your bun, stand up a bit more. Good, now you all look studly. Okay, you see my point guys? That's a vertical follow through you guys. It's not head down, slap whitey into a chicken wing. It's let it expand heavy, rehinge a bit facing the target, okay? Do your best to let a golf ball get in the way of that. Narrow stance, flary feet. Good, a girl. Put a ball in the way. Judy, Judy. Judy's smiling, she knows, that's different, huh? Way to go, Dan. Stop smiling, Dan. You know you're getting it, buddy. Okay, fake, little, little trickery there. I did. I know, so here's the interesting thing with you. You stay put for a sec, okay? So notice, so here's a bit of a hinge. Here's the heavy part when I'm done over here. Notice how this gizmo is still kind of gently on my left arm, not on my right. See what I mean? So, let me have your left hand. Okay, there you go, fold that heel pad on top of that grip. Perfect, way to go. Put that right hand on there, rest, awesome. Give me this left arm up. On the, you don't have to twist that out there. Yeah, don't twist the elbow this way. There you go, that's fantastic. Flare your feet for me a little bit, good. Now, as I carry you to a finish over here, this is what it's gonna look like. See how that gently stays here, mm -hmm. right? You kinda wanna go and scoop it a little to help it, you don't have to. Let it unlever, get heavy, turn, 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 knees together. Awesome. <laughs> like, woo, Elvis. Don't take the Elvis out, just teasing. 1977, he was, he passed away. That a girl. Judy, that's getting through it, girl. Isn't that cool? Right? I used it a little bit yesterday. Okay, good. So yours is not tight enough. Let me, let me do it. I'll do it for you. So it's, tr it's you know, it's a tiny it's, knob, right? So yeah. one o'clock, okay? Mm -hmm. Get it flat and then tighten it a bit. Now what I like to do is I kind of hold it. Now I can use the club oh, okay. to lever it sure, tight. Makes sense. Hey guys, five minutes, five minutes. Nice. So that's a different duty right there. That's a Judy with a booty getting through the golf ball. Hands look way better, Mr. I'm proud of you. Really good, really good. Cool, cool, cool. Good, put that awesome left hand, get that heel pad on top of that grip. So much better, girl, way to go. Good. Give me knuckles. Barely. That's Barely okay, touching. you did fantastic. Oh, okay. You guys, our session is, we're good, we're done here. That's good, I'm okay. No worries, I appreciate it, you did awesome.